game one was a story of both teams really wanting it very hard, but uh, Letran was really so ready for the bottle. The main story at the end of the day will be the fourth quarter, wherein uh, Letran's big three of Mark Cruz, Kevin Rakal, and Raynan Batak outscored the whole San Beda team 30 to 28. Everybody's been talking about the veterans of uh, San Beda. Where are the veterans? You're talking about the AAA, you're talking about Art, Adiogun, and of course the game of Basel Amel. They've been there, they've done that. They're going to do a lot of things for them to be able to win this ball game. It's been 10 years for Letran. They've been waiting for it, they've been wanting it. This time they think they're ready to get it. Another mano in mano bakbakan between San Beda and the Red. Mula po dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa Pasay City. It is game number two of the NCAA Season 91 Finals featuring longtime rivals Colegio de San Juan, the Letra Knights, and the five time defending champions, San Beda College Red Lions. Here's De La Cruz, that one to Hunter, that he has been used. Now when the ball is up, one in Cruz, with a bat-up to Kevin Rakal, two on one, great for the Knights, and Rakal scores! Bongo, libre sa corner, is good! First quarter, sa pagitan ng San Beda at Letran, the Red Lions still find themselves up by seven. Bongo De La Cruz, the spin by Arthur. De La Cruz with that one after. Eight to shoot, Balanza fires. And he gets the bounce. That's a pure tenacity on the part of the Lebron Knights. Nice crossover by the Ant-Man. And the jumper is good. Para kay Mark, naiba ba ang kalamangan? Sa patlo. Kanya ng kumpiyansa. Speaking of kumpiyansa, Mark has the cut. Oh! Back up the head. Lebron grabs the lead for the very first time. Will Letran finish it off or will San Beda force a game three on Thursday? Dumating na ang oras ng pagtotoos, ang huling laro, ang huling pagkakataon para maging bahagi ng kasaysayan. Ngayong araw, dalawa sa pinakamagaling na kumpanan ang sasabak sa pinakamabigat na pagsubok sa larangan ng palakasan, ngunit isa lamang ang hihiranging kampiyon. Ito ang Game 3 ng final sa NCAA Season 91 at pinabati namin kayo ng live mula dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay kung saan kasulukuyang lumilikha ng ingay ang San Vera College na nagnanais na mapatagal pa ang kanilang pag at maging unang kampiyon sa kasaysayan ng liga na manalo ng anim na magkasunod na titulo. Sa kabilang panik naman, ang Colegio de San Juan de Letran ay nagtatangkang makamit ang titulo na huli nilang napanulunan noong taong 2005. Inyo pong napapanood ito ng live sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action sa Balls HD, Sky Cable Channel 195. At binabati din po namin ang lahat ng aming mga kababayan watching from all over the world via the Filipino channel and to those watching via live streaming sa tfc.tv at sa sports.abs-cbn.com. Mabuhay Pilipinas! Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas. Matalas nating marinig sa NBA at sa iba pang American sports. The best two words in sports 
is Game 7. Pero dito, sa larangan ng Philippine Collegiate Sports, the equivalent of Game 7 is Game 3. At ngayong araw, ating mapapanood ang isang epikong laban sa pagitan ng dalawang rivals, San Beda at Letran, for all the marbles dito sa championship ng NCAA Season 91. At makakasama natin to break down itong bakbaka ng San Beda at Letran, Coach A.G. Alan Gregorio. Magandang hapon, Anton. And you know, this is the most important basketball for Season 91. NCAA Finals Game Number 3. And we will break it down. This will be very, very exciting. And we have more stories and insights to tell. Doon 2012 and 2013, limang beses nagharap ang San Beda at Letran. For the first time in the history of the NCAA, San Beda and Letran are playing each other for the sixth time in one season. Noong game number one, napansin natin, it was an offensive affair. Nag-ubusan ng bala ang dalawang kubunan. Pero sa game number two, it was a defensive oriented affair kung saan nakabawi ang Red Lions 68 to 61. Well, we can see that in that fourth quarter run, it was 16 to 12. And you have to credit the defense that was played by San Beda against the Letra Knights. You can see three and a half minutes in the final quarter, Letran was held scoreless. So is this going to be the same scoring game? If it's a low scoring game, people say it's to the advantage of San Beda. If it's a high scoring game, Letran will win the championship. Ngayon naman, tignan natin ang mga numero sa game number two at kapansin-pansin ang bilang ng shot attempts ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran. 84 shot attempts ang tinira ng Knights samantalang ang San Beda naman just took 50 shots in that game. Well, the most important statistics we have, we have here is the field goal. We can see what struggle Colegio de San Juan de Letran had. 29%, 33% was from two field, from the two-point field goal. Rebounding, 17 advantage para dito sa kuponan ng San Beda. And turnover points, as usual, always to the advantage of Letran. Number one, dito sa NCA ang Letran pagdating sa points of turnovers. Kaya lang sa game number two, kinulang ang Letran sapagkat they only tallied 22 turnover points when they average a shade over 24 turnover points per game. And speaking of turnovers, yon ang naging malaking problema ng San Beda sa game number two. In two games in the final, San Beda is averaging 30.5 turnovers per game. But for the season, they only average 21.9. Napakalaki ng disparity. And that's one thing that San Beda will really have to work on if they want to win this game number three. Look at this. Ola Adiogun is averaging 10 turnovers. Art De La Cruz also 10. J.B. Mokon had a total of 9, I should say, no? Basera Mer, a total of 8. And Dan Sara, a total of 6. They really have to take uh, good care of that leather. One of your keys to victory sa Coach AG's corner in game number 2 was to get production from the big 3 of Letran and more. But you said there was no big three in game number two. The big three averages a shade over 47 points per game para sa Letran. Pero hindi naka-score ang kanilang third-year shooting guard na si Ray Nambatak who told me before the game that he played the worst game of his life at this is the first time na hindi siya naka-score sa kanyang NCAA career. Alam mo, a lot of people are saying, you know, that's just the story of the ball game. Ray Nambatak not getting involved whatsoever in that ball game. 25 minutes, no points. Zero out of six from the field. Zero out of six from free throw line. And that was really something that Ray Nambata uh, should really work on in today's ball game. Ngayon, nasa game three na tayo, Coach Alan. Let's hear your version of Coach AG's corner for this all-important and deciding game. Well, we have always discussed, ano, that for San Beda to be able to win in, the, in this game, number one, Art, Amer, and Adiogun. The Triple A should have a Triple A game. They should have a show. They are graduating, and this will be their last game for San Beda. Number two for San Beda is top Letran's big three on the defensive end. They were able to achieve that. Score holding Reina Bata to a scoreless ball game. Can they still do that for today's ball game? And of course, number three, that, and it has really helped them control the rebounds, and to be able to score inside. Sa game number two, nagawa nila lahat yan. Coach AG, ngayon naman silipin natin ang Coach AG's corner para naman sa panic ng mga Letranista. Well, for Letran, 
ensure a well-oiled offense. Something that hindi nila nagawa, na hindi nila nagawa because of the percentages that they had in game number two. For number two, I should say, is their marksmanship from the outside. No, in game number one, ang ganda ng kanilang percentage, both from free throws and from the three points. But in game number two, grabe, partner, 19% or 5 out of 26 from a three-point range. And number three, it sustained defensive energy. They've been holding on uh, San Beda to 30.5 turnovers, and if they can do that, it will give them a better chance of winning the final. Well, for the side of Letran, they only checked one of those three points sa Coach AG's corner. They want to have more checks dito sa game number three. Nakasama natin sila buong season. Ang importante ang bahagi ng ating broadcast team, ang ating mga courtside reporters na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga mahalagang informasyon mula sa mga huddles ng bawat kupanan. Reporting today for the five-time champion San Beda College is the brains behind the bench, Siege Tantenko. At para naman sa panig ng Letran, makakasama natin ang nag playful angel na si Myrtle Sarosa. Hi, girls! Hi, Anton! Anton, kahapon pa nga lang nagsimula na mag-trend ang ating hashtag NCA Season 91 Game 3. Kaya naman sa mga kapamilya natin dyan na hindi pa nakakasama sa ating Twitter party, huwag niyong kalimutan gamitin ang ating hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 91. At kami din ni Siege, meron tayong konting rivalry today. Kaya naman kung kasama ko kayo at fans din kayo ng Letra Knights, huwag niyong kalimutan gamitin ang ating hashtag, hashtag galing CSJL. Nako, Mertz, hindi magpapahuli ang Red Army. Kaya kung panik Naman kayo sa San Bell Red Lions, kagaya nitong gaya na to. Oo nga, nags nagsama ka pa talaga ng kakampi. Siyempre, <laughs> six feet ang pinaglalaban natin dito eh. Gamitin yung hashtag galing SBC. Yes, dapat i-tweet nyo talaga sa amin dahil today is the last day ng ating pataasan sa ating polls. You can see the, the results of our polls at sports.abs-tvn.com. Yes, itag nyo na rin kami kung meron kayo mga katanungan. On Twitter, Anton is at Mr. Pure Business. On Instagram, he's at Anton Rojas. Si Coach Alan naman on Twitter at Coach Alan G. Ako on Twitter and Instagram at CJ Day. And I'll be Snapchatting live from wow. this game three. Yes, my username is at CJ Tanteco. Merch, ikaw. Yes, and you can also follow me at, at Myrtle Gale on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, with a rivalry this intense, mag-iinit, mag ang social media natin. We'll see you online and you might see your tweets on air. Di ba, Anton? Coach Allen? Maraming salamat, Siege at Myrtle. Speaking of social media, Coach Alan, I saw your tweet this morning. You took a picture of the headlines in newspaper and it read, Date with History. So definitely, we're part of it and there will be an answer. Who will be or who will have that date with history after today's ball game? Will San Beda be able to protect their dynasty today and achieve an unprecedented six-peat or will Letran achieve destiny? by recapturing the championship they won in 2005. Yan po ang ating malalaman. Handa na ang ating mga opisyales, Commissioner Coach Bay Cristobal, Romy Guevara, Father Vic Calvo, and everybody else dito sa organisasyon ng NCAA Red Lions at Knights. Handa nang ilabas ang galing dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action.
NCAA hosts here are the Sunbetta Red Lions. Off guard number seven, Boston the Hammer Amen. Point guard number 11, Roald and Sana. At center number 10, Oma Atilton. Forward number four, Ryusei Kuga. And at power forward number 18, Art de la Cruz. And coach of the Red Lions, first year coach, Samai Kaden. The starting five for El Colegio de San Juan de la Club Knights. Power forward number four, Felix Apeco. Forward number 16, Kevin Lahai. And center number five, John Soliano. And Max Jules-Louis. And the point guard, the astonishing Ant-Man, number nine, Mark Cruz. And coach of the Knights is rookie coach, Alvin Ayo. Starting lineups para sa dalawang ubran. Simulan natin dito sa San Beda College Red Lions. Coach Jamai Karin not holding back, sending in Baseramer, Yusei Koga, Ola Diogun, Arthur De La Cruz, and Roldan Sara. That's four graduating seniors in the starting lineup. At para naman sa panic ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Mark Cruz starting for the fourth straight game para kay Coach Alden Ayo. He will be joined by Macjor Luib, John Soliano, Felix Aprecu, and K-Rax. Kevin Rakal, Ray ng Batak na hindi nakascore sa kanilang huling bakbakan. Game number two will come off the bench today. And game number three is officially underway. Unang offensive possession, mapupunta sa five-time defending champions, San Beda College. Now, Coach Alan, both teams are playing in their 23rd game this season. Letran played 23 games in 2012, season 88. Hindi sila pinala. They lost in game number three sa finals contra sa San Beda. But this is the first time ever that San Beda will be playing in their 23rd game in the history of the NCAA. Well, you know for a fact that every time it's San Beda versus Letran, whether it's in the finals or the elimination, there's just so much drama waiting everybody watching. Kevin Rakal, una puntos dito sa game number three ng galing sa do it all forward. De La Cruz kicks it out. Koga baseline. Jay and you say Koga. The shooting specialist, formerly from San Pedro College, Alabang. Rose, Pirangasi, Koga puts it up. May tinawag na foul. That could have counted if that shot went in. Mark Cruz hearing the whistle. Just putting that ball inside the ring, in and out, two free throws, Mark Cruz. Strong move of the game, brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Life. That's the first basket of the game, deepest of game number three. And 58% of the games so far this season was won by the team to score first in a game. So may 58% chance na manalo ang Letran based on our numbers. And for the second time, deepest of finals for the second time in season, at the Gisang 8th Division World Boxing Champion, Manny Pacquiao, sitting at courtside kasama ang Letran Knights. And you know, that's just a lot of inspiration for the players. Their team manager, very busy at that. Of course, no, Congressman Manny Pacquiao is here in the house. Nagtagumpay ang Letran. Nung naroon si Manny Pacquiao, no game number one. Uh, Arthur De La Cruz, who had a different level of intensity sa game number two. Put San Beda up by one. Three graduating players on the side of Letran. Two of them are on the floor right now. Kevin Rakan and Mark Cruz. The other graduating player is Ray Publico. And speaking of graduating players, let's get more about that from the San Beda side. 
Here's Siege Tantengo. Siege? Yes, and on six feet para sa six seniors. Yan ang matayag ng pangarap ng San Better Red Lions. Kanya-kanya sila ng kwento, kanya-kanya ng pinaglalaban. Para sa ating big three na si Ola Adiogo, Marcel Mirat, Art Delibus, umaapaw na sila sa individual awards, pero iba pa rin daw ang kamis ng pagumpay kung makuha nila ang historic six feet. For the game, ang paalala ng team captain, nasa atin ang opportunity, huwag itong sasayangin. Para naman kay Michael Torello, who has been with San Bera for seven years, sabi niya, he's playing this game for the Red Army of the San Bera community, who has been with him every step of the way. Kakaiba din ang case ng nag-iisang rookie senior, si Ice Reyes. Ang pressure daw sa kanya, he wants to make the most of his first and last playing year. It goes without saying that everyone is playing for their family. In the case of Ruth St. Boga, this game is dedicated to his Tita Rose, who's undergoing chemotherapy right now. Matayog na pangarap, pero magkakatotoo ba? Yan ang aabang natin. Anton, Coach Allen? Maraming salamat, Siege. Adit the players nga ang mag-graduate sa panig ng San Beda after this game. Adiyogun, De La Cruz, Sorella, Koga, Amer, and Ice Reyes. Pero alam mo to, na, alam mo to yung mga game offerings na binibigay nila, whether they win it or they lose it, as long as they give it everything they've got in this ball game, I'm sure yung mga kamag-anak nila at saka yung mga, yung, yung mga kaibigan nila will be very much appreciative na ino-offer itong laro na ito sa kanila. Well, one thing's for sure, whoever wins and whoever loses, it's going to be one very emotional afternoon dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa Lungsod ng Pasay as John Soliano nakawala at nakapuntos para sa panic ng letra. Three players nakapuntos na para sa Knights, Cruz, Rakal, and John Soliano. De La Cruz has four points already in the game. He's only averaging nine points in the last six games for San Beda. Adiyogu missing from close range. Kerax, Puminto, Pumina, Puntos, para sa mga Letranista. Yeah, that's going to be a good sign on the part of Letran. Kevin Rakal, who only scored nine points in game number one here in the first quarter, already has four points. The Knights employing the Mayhem defense, the coach Alden Ayo. Amer, binigay kay Adiogo, binobol team, luwip, naagaw kay Ola Ampola. Cruz, pinasa kay Rakal, who bounces it off the back of the head of Arthur De La Cruz, or rather, the face of De La Cruz. And I think that's Dan Zara. Panoorin natin muli dito sa replay. You're right, Coach AG, Dan Zara. Getting a facial there. Mula kay Kevin Rakal. In a tense atmosphere dito sa Mall of Asia Arena. Anit na minuto at naglumpot. Anit na segundo ang nalalabi dito sa ating first quarter. Nansara, his third straight season in a miembro ng Red Lions. Has one more year remaining sa kanyang eligibility as we see Coach Alden Ayo who says winning the championship in 1999 really changed his life. And that is the reason kung bakit siya ay nag-coach ngayon dito sa bakbaka na to. A fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home PSL, the number one home broadband. Kevin Rakal knocking down a long-range bomb. Wala nang mapasahan. Ito eh, no? si Kevin Rakal. It was a long pass. Could have been a two-on-one break. But I think it was a little miscommunication on the part of Mark Cruz and Gerax. So after the technical foul, sayang yung opportunity for Letran. One free throw and the ball goes back to some better red line. Gong Pinto, the big man on the point guard, Dan Sara. Sara picks it out. Amer, nakita si De La Cruz sa ilalim. De La Cruz, hops, fakes, pivots. That's traveling. I'm too excited. He's feeling some uh, mismatches. Itong si uh, Arthur De La Cruz. Though they're playing a little tense. To start this first quarter, I can feel that for San Beda. Mismatch opportunity dito. Para sa Knights, Rakal, Tumira over Sara. Rebound De La Cruz. And they will slow the pace down. 
Amer. Tiene que ir de la Cruz. De la Cruz. Un pataje. That was an open shot on, on the part of Art de la Cruz. Ola Diogo could have gotten that missed, that missed shot. Pabrik po ang game number three ng NCA Season 91. Lamang ang letran kontra sa San Beda 8 to 7. At nagbabalik ang NCA Season 91. Nung nagsimula ang season na ito, marami ang nag-underestimate sa ating Letran Knights. Pero imbis na to bring this down, ginamit ito ng ating Letran Knights at ni Coach Alden Ayo para mas ma-fuel pang ating Knights. At ngayon, they're here to fight till the finish. Sabi sa akin kanina ni Coach, pero na siya yung iwan sa kanyang mga Knights ang gusto niyong iwan is to have a leap of faith. Alam nila that they did everything for this season, kaya naman na niwala sila that they will leave this Salamat, Myrtle. Sabi daw ni Coach Alden Ayo, ang ibig sabihin ng deep of faith, do your best and let God take care of the rest. One of the values na ini-instill ni Coach Alden Ayo sa kanyang mga players is to become closer to God. At sila ay naniniwala that it is their destiny to recapture the championship they last won in 2005. But the Red Lions have been invincible, especially the past five years dito sa pinakaunang Collegiate Sports League ng Pilipinas. And you know what makes it uh, more colorful, not done? Uh, it's been 10 years. Yes. And that game, they lost game number one, but won game number two and recaptured the title for a winning game in that game number three. Again, that was in 2005. Bonquito from way out. And look who's there for the rebound, John Soriano. Really hard working para sa Kobanan. That night, Soliano is averaging 5.7 rebounds per game para sa Knights. 10 to 7 ang ating talaan. Naman ang Letran. Sara stops, pops, it doesn't drop. Rebound by Kalox. Rose, umarangada. Rose, binabantay ni Koga. Rose, nakalusot sa baseline. Lewis for three. Nothing there. Ola with a rebound. Now we can see Coach AG, San Beda is trying to slow down yes, the pace. Yes, yeah, exactly. Again, high scoring ball games. It's like in game number one, 94-91 by Latran. And the 68-61 below the 70 point mark won by San Beda. So if it's a high scoring game, that's the Latran striking. But slow pace half court game, Yona Gusto. The Makareta is one move! Oh, 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 and winning! And finishing with a left hand. Now it's a five-point lead with four minutes, five seconds remaining here in the first quarter. No mejo soft ang uh, start no? para dito sa kupunan ng uh, San Pedro Red Lion. Takbuhan na naman. Here come the Knights. Cruz to Soriano. Six points in the game. Ito na ang pinakamalaking kalamangan ng mga letranista. We don't see the best execution coming from Zambeda. They're not running it down on transition. They're not getting the rebound and tough a long shot. K-Rax, Rubinto, Tumira, Bitten, rebound Koga. Well, four of these guys, four of these guys and Don are graduating. Yes. You've got Yusei Koga, you've got Ola, you've got Art, you've got uh, Pasenone. And they haven't been subbed out yet. But Tanko and Mokon are ready to check in Para sa mga bilista Bong Pinto, bounce pass Para kay K-Rax K-Rax, pinakatang bola puntos Para sa Letran At meron ng walong puntos si Kevin Rakal Dito sa bakbaka na to you know, I see a different body, body language Coming from the Zimbeda Red Lions In the first quarter Not the same kind of enthusiasm That I, I thought I saw In game number two Mainit ang simula ng Letran Knights. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Life. Kapos ang tira ni Quinto. No problem, the effort is there. John Soliano with a putback. Letran 16, San Beda 9. Magbabalik from Game 3 ng Finals dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA Kinabas. Ang galing. Inyo pong napapanood ang aming live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage ng Game 3 ng Finals sa Season 91 ng NCAA all of the pretty faces have come out today to witness what has been an intense showdown so far, and it will surely be epic 
as both these teams looking to be a part of history. Tapi ka ng bola, makupunta kay Orson De La Cruz. De La Cruz, umarang kada. At mananati niya bola sa panic ng mga binista. Uh, that could have been a clear mismatch. Mark Cruz knowing what to do. Stop the onslaught. Stop the dribble of Art De La Cruz. Balikan natin itong galaw kanina ni The Ant-Man. Mark Cruz, last play of the game brought to you by BLDD Home DSL, the number one home front fan. Actually, Letran with a 13-3 run. Sanbeda only one field goal in the last five minutes. Sanbeda had 40 inside points in game number two so far. Dito sa bakbaka na to, just six. While Letran has 12. Mokon, who had 30 points in game number two, is in the game. Bite ng kanyang dress ng batak na pulot ang bola. Pinasa kay Luis. Balik ang bola kay Cruz. Tumira mula sa kanto. Sobra ang kanyang dress. Masera mayor may hawak ng bola. Nakarating na po tayo sa huling karabang minuto ng ating bakbakan dito sa first quarter. Caught, caught uh, holding on was uh, Magjur Luib. So that's a foul. So some substitutions right here. Luib will be resting and you've got JP Calvo who's been playing very well up to the Anton, you know? So that Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. Mokon, umatake, ng dalawang isip, kinasa kay Tangkwa, napulot ng kalaban. Andre Felix is on standby to host the awarding ceremony, which will happen right after this game. Thank you so much to everybody in tweeting. Let's try to make NCAA Season 91 trend today. Thank you, Carlos Ochoa. They're trying to go down low and establish the bigs of the Red Lions coach AG. Well, but uh, Letran has been doing its, uh, its fair share on uh, the defensive end. Helping each other, dropping down. That's why uh, scoring has not really been easy for San Beda here in the first quarter. Donko sneaks through the lane and flips it up and in. Una puntos ni Raj Donko dito sa game number three. And very important for the guards of San Beda to be able to score here in this game. Especially if their big men are having a hard time in scoring. That's going to be a moving screen. Ray Publico after hitting his first two points just a while ago. Matagal nang naglalaro itong si Ray Publico as we see Raj Tonko with a Master Guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more Guapo moves powered by Master Secreto ng mga Guapo. This is a very good matchup right here. Ray Publico, Raj Tonko, nice defense. And it will be another turnover. Coach Jamai telling Raj Tonko, give up that leather. Renian, thank you so much. Yes, this is the final clash between Intramuros and Mendiola. The first time also that they are facing each other for the sixth time in one season. Red Lions trying to roar to an unprecedented sixth speed. Letran trying to recapture the championship. Only, only 42.3 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And nine left in the shot clock of Letran. Ray Nambata did not score the last time out. That's going to be his first, his first shot. Marami talaga kinihindang injury itong si Ray Nambata. Swollen ankle, back spasms. At ito si JP Cabo, nagpapakita ng tapang. Pero JD Mokon, hindi hinayaan mga puntos ang point guard na si JP Calvo. Not giving up on the play, although bumawi lang, no? Ito si JP Mokon. He had a turnover, he had to rush down, not giving up. No transition offense. It's going to be a sideline inbound or a baseline inbound on the part of Letran. Apreku, binasa kay ng bata. Ng bata, goes baseline, ng bata. Binigay kay Publico, sumalpahin ni Sorella. Apreku, wala pa rin, tapi ka ng bola. What a wild scramble for the basketball. Both teams really diving hard for every possession as we see this Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. 11.7 remaining, two free throws, Donald Tanqua. It's a penalty now. 
Now more substitutions para sa panic team. Coach Mike Harid, Ice Williams, rookie veteran, papasok. So ano pa kakataon dito sa bakbakan na to? So many fresh Quintero, one of four first year players coming in. Chico Terona, former NCAA champion also. Part of the San Beda Red Lions. This is my former uh, player, actually. Good to see Chico Terona here inside the venue. I bumped into so many former players, mga players na dati rin natin kinocover. Mamaya, may kita natin sila dito sa inyong mga screens. And we have 11.7 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Takwa in and down sa kanilang free throw. Napulot niya pala ang Zambola. Huling pakakataon para sa Knights na makapuntos dito sa first quarter. And Ice Reyes gives up a foul. That's only the second team foul para sa mga Bilista dito sa first quarter. Lentran is 12-2 and two in season with leading after the first quarter. So, a lot of good signs we are seeing from the Lentran side dito sa simula ng ating bakbakan. Nambata has to shoot and Ray Nambata gets on the board. Finally, his scoring drought has ended. What an intense atmosphere ang huling bakbakan dito sa ikasyam na pun isang season ng NCAA strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life second quarter sa aming pagbabalik pero balikan muna natin ang mga highlights na nangyari sa unang yugto ng ating bakbakan ang unang puntos nang galing kay K-Rax Kevin Racal Basera Mare and Arthur De La Cruz. San Beda fans, you have to savor this moment. This is the last time we are going to see that connection. De La Cruz and Amer in a San Beda uniform. What about the Ant-Man? Scoring and finding his teammates. 20, Letran, 12, San Beda. Second quarter sa aming pagbabalik. Yan yung pong natutong haya ng Jamtac Mall of Asia Arena sa Lugson ng Pasay para sa Game No. 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals sa pagitan ng San Beda at Letra. Mon Ross po, kasama si Coach Alan Gregorio and at court side, we have Sinch Tantenko and Virgil Sarosa reporting for San Beda and Letra respectively. A good start for the Knights and the good times continue to roll after that basket mula kay J.P. Calvo. You know that nice shot fake from J.P. Calvo then a jump shot. He's been doing that the entire season. And now it's a 10-point lead to enter the second quarter. At magandang shooting percentage na mga letranista ngayon. 47.6%. But San Vera looking to improve on their inside points tally as they go down low to Donald Takwa. You know, in our uh, points to victory, Coach AG's corner, we talked about the rebounding, the inside points. But so far in the first quarter, Letran has out-rebounded San Beda 14 to 8. Ayan naman, naman ngayon, 22 to 14, ang Letran Knights. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Life. Donald Tangqua. Three points, dito sa bakbaka na to. Hails from the Republic of Cameroon. Now we are seeing the 40 minutes of hell full court press mula sa panic ni Coach Jamal Karim. Soberano, nothing there. Pero may tinawag na foul. Well, is it in the rebounding? Or was it called on Ray Nambata? Because if that's going to be on Ray Nambata, that will be the second foul on Ray. Pinatake ni Soberano ang depensa ni Ray Nambata. Hindi na gustuhan ni Nambata. Ang tawag ngayon as Soberano, the sharpshooter, knocks down the first free throw. As we see the San Pedro supporters. Coach Jamai Karin, first season, looking to deliver a championship.
Stay tuned to 17 now. Balanza, umaarangkada. Balanza, ikat dalawang isip. Bad pass, that's a turnover. Balik ang bola sa San Beda. Well, he didn't even know who to pass the ball to. Calvo was there, Quinto was there, but it was passed in the middle. Kaya nakatingin na, ano? Ang mga taga-Lebron, is this gonna be a foul called? J.B. Calvo, Kevin Rakal sitting on the bench, Mark Cruz also sitting on the bench. Kanina nakausap si, ni Myrtle Sarosa si Ray ng Batak. Let's get this report from Myrtle right now. Myrtle? Yes, Anton, maliban sa matinding bakbakan, isa din sa mga inaabangan natin dito sa NCAA ay ang ating mga players at isa sa mga players na inaabangan talaga natin mula sa ating letter night ay si Ray ng Batak o ang ating Stingray. Ang itiinom ng mga kapamilya natin dyan ay si, ay si Ray ay nanggaling ko sa Cagayan de Oro. Lumipad siya for the first time dito sa Manila mag-isa para mag audition para sa ating Letran Knights. At ngayon, isang dream come true para sa kanya na umabot dito sa finals. Kaya aasahan nyo, mapa-offense naman yan o defense. Ay gabi niya lahat para, mak para makuha ng ating Letran Knights ang championship ngayon. Just take a leap of faith. But it was there, Anton. Maraming salamat, Myrtle. Exacto ang pag-report mo sapagkat nakaputo si Ray ng bata who is dedicating this game to his parents sa kanyang tatay na si Ray at ang kanyang nanay na si Susan. Exacto, exacto, eh, no? Parang nakikinig sa'yo, Myrtle, itong si Ray ng Batak. And of course, the Letran hopefuls are so happy. He's got four points here in this ball game. Remember, last time out, game number two. Zero out of six from the field. Zero out of six from the line. That was just a big struggle on the part of the Stingray. A nightmare of a game too para kay Ray ng Bata who told me that that was the only time in his NCAA career na hindi siya nakapuntos sa isang laro. It was the worst game of his life. But now, he is looking to bounce back. He's playing well so far. Alam mo, hindi nga sinasabi ni Andre Felix eh. Sa kanyang araw eh, hindi nangyayari yun eh. Yung scoreless night. Tapos kay Ray ng Bata pa. Samantala, Raj Tongo, huminto, tumira, puntos para sa Red Lions. Lead has been chopped down to five. What a block right there by J.B. Mokon. Wild pass. Natapik ni ng Batak. Mananatili ang bola sa panik ng mga bibista. Ngayon naman, balikan natin si Siege Tanteco. Siege? Tanyag na ang big three. Napupuri na nga ang bench ng San Bedro Red Lions. Pero pag-usapan natin ang kanilang unsung hero. So you say... He's a great shot kung tres ang hanap mo. And while he may not have monster numbers, sabi niya, mas kinaginahan nga ako knowing that my passes lead to shots for others. Pinupuri nga ni Coach na Mike ang ganitong selflessness. And going into the second quarter, patuloy na paalala ni Coach, you need to go for higher percentage shots. And you need to be in the right positions for our plays. May na ang paalala niya rin noong game 2. Ito ulit ang paalala niya, ang tanong. Same result ba ng game 2? Yan ang hapa natin. Anton? Alam nyo, itong si Yusei Koga pumasok sa NCAA noong 2011. Magkasabay sila ni Baser Amer all throughout four straight championships. And he wants to be a part of history just like Baser winning five gold medals dito sa NCAA. Donald Tangkwan. You saw Jerome Ponce a while ago and... The Bennets just went wild as they saw him on the big screen. Everybody's out here today upang suportahan ang mga magigiting naman na laro na nagpapamalas ng galing ngayon dito sa hard court. Nakatagal nang hindi nakakascore ang kapunan ng Letran. Kevin Lacal scoring 7 points in the first quarter. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. First free throw is good for Kevin Rakal. As we see the man who recruited Kevin Rakal, Coach Louis Alas, three-time NCAA champion, was the coach of Coach Alden Ayo in 1998 when Netran ended the five-year winning streak of San Sebastian. Alam mo nakita ko at trio Alas tayo dito. Uh, trio Alas, you've got Jun Jun, you've got Kevin, and his very naughty smile. <laughs> Look at that. 26 21. Of course, they're here to support their former team, the Letran Knights. 
Ayan, si Junjun, the three aces in attendance right now. It's always nice to see these players that we used to cover. Hindi nawawala ka rin lang suporta. At hindi nawawala ang dugong Ariba na dumadaloy sa kanilang mga ugat. May nakita nga ni Ola Diogo si Junjun. Buti na lang, nandiyan ka na lang sa gilid. Hindi ka na naglalaro. <laughs> One of the most physical players in the NCAA. Tinagalog, eh, no? For those who doesn't know, talaga naman, yun ang naging papel ni Junjun Alas, you know, when he was still playing to defend against the big man of San Beda. Luib, binasa sa kanto. Rakal, tumira over Takwa. Rebound, Mokot. Red Lions still trying to control the pace. Sara, dinabas ang bola kay De La Cruz. De La Cruz inside to Bokor. And J.B. Bokor finally gets on the board. Dito sa game three. And so a 10-point lead, it's just down to 26-24. J.B. Bokor is been contributing for the cause of San Beda. De La Cruz, dinasa kay Amer. Amer behind the back dribble. Amer. Stops, kicks it out to nobody. That's a turnover. But it's a ball as the Same kind of a pass that Balanza gave up. And uh, the offense about two minutes ago for Letran. Passing to nobody. So it's in 33. We are in the second quarter. Thank you very the game, much. The game has slowed yeah. down. Huh? No, medyo, alam nila, hindi naman nila kaya ang sustain. Even Letran. And we see some posts and tweets. People watching via live streaming on sports. Sports.com as Kevin Rakal. He has caught fire early dito sa pangbaka na to. Pero na labing tatlong puntos si K-Rax. De La Cruz. Fires over Rakal. De La Cruz. De La Cruz. De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's going to be the first three-point shot of the series for Art De La Cruz. Well, for the season, that's only De La Cruz's sixth triple. As we see, this master guapo move of the corner, mula kay J.D. Mokon, watch out for more guapo moves, followed by Master Secreto ng mga guapo. Dalawa na lang ang kalamangan ng Letran. Magbabalik po ang Game 3 dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Arthur De La Cruz stepping back, launching from beyond the arc and converting a fast play of the game brought to you by PLDD Home DSL, the number one home run back. That's the sixth triple of the season para kay Arthur De La Cruz now, I'm not sure if this is Dave or Anthony. <laughs> uh, I'm Anthony sure. Wins. I'm sure this is Kirby. Yes, Kirby Raimundo, nakakape. The coach Alvin Ayo in those back-to-back -back championship years, 1998 and 1999. A little too close for the defense of Art de la Cruz, ensuring that Kevin Rakal does not even have that open look. Remember, remember he's got 13 points already. That's Rome and JP. More champions from the San Beda side. Rome de la Rosa and JP Mendoza. Kerax for three. Bit in. Rebound Soliano. Soliano did a double team. Soliano, Umiko, Tumik, Tumira, Sumabit, Sitakwa. It's free throws for Soliano. Fantastic for the King shown by John Soliano. He got the rebound over the outside arms of uh, Donald Takwa. And then, yung ano, yung uh, hindi siya uh, tumatalo. Yes. No? Pero hindi naman siya nagta-travel. Huh? Mautak na panalaro itong si John Soliano na tubong talisay Cebu. It's his second year in college. Last year, he spent time in Team B bago na angat dito sa bago siya naangat dito sa Team A, so it's his first time in the finals. As we see, Kojak Melegrito. I used to call him the power point, <laughs> the point guard who can you who can do power power moves. 
Two misses, John Soliano. Still a two-point lead for the Tranto. Five and 30 remaining here in the second quarter. The biggest lead of the Tranto was at 10. Amer lays it up, nothing there. Bocon, surrounded by three blue shirts. Bocon, the recover of bola. Kawalan Karman, Amer has five to shoot. Amer, Bumikon, Tumira, wala pa rin. The ball will stay with the Red Lions. Shot clock down to 14 seconds. They weren't able to get that defensive rebound. Could have been an open fast break for Letran. Greg Jeffrey, Hetorian, watching this matchup between San Vera and Letran. We are seeing the disparity from the Kings of Puntos. Big three ng San Veda, big three ng Letra. 19 para sa mga Knights. Sa Pulama para sa Red Lions. And so far, he is here in the second quarter. Mark Cruz has not given his share in offense. Quito, sumaksak, pinasa kay Soliano. And Joe Soliano has been on point. This afternoon, walong puntos para kay Soliano. De La Cruz fires again. Adiyogun for the offensive rebound. Adiyogun will head to the nine for two. It's going to be a very tough day in the office for John Soliano. He's being tough to score inside the paint. He's being tough to get those rebounds in the paint against not just Ola Adiyogun, but also against Donald Tanqua. Dave Marcelo, former starting center. Sabi si Gordon Soliano, buti na lang, hindi na naglalaro yan. <laughs> si Dave. Hola, Diogo, top scored para sa Red Lions sa game number two with 14 points. He only took six shots in that game, but made five out of those six shots. Napakataas talaga ng percentage. Itong si Ola Adiyogun na meron ng apat na puntos dito sa bakbaka na to. Borgi Hermida, who spent 16 years of his life in San Peda, just like his jersey number, was also here for uh, game number two. Well, it was his birthday two days ago. Soliano, in and out, tapping in a bola, mabukunta, both Quinto, and the former juniors MVP scores underneath. That's a broken play. Good thing Quinto was there to get that rebound. Amer, pinasa sa kanto. Golda for three! And you say Golda knocks down his first triple here in game number three. Just like what you said, it's been five years. This time, they don't have to see each other. They just smell each other, give them extra pass. Three-point shot for you say Golda. Isa na lang ang kalabangan ng mga nandratista. Soliano, inaatrasan si De La Cruz! And De La Cruz with a block on Soliano! Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Former Latran Squire Bong Quinto, Juniors MVP back in 2012 NCAA season 88. K Rax with a basketball. Baksaks in Dela Cruz, the win, the win of Salabas. Jordan the win! Just that ball for Ashley! That's definitely a lucky shot. We didn't call that one. It hit the board, then went to the ring. Back to a four point lead. The run, three and ten remaining. Second quarter. In a field goal, Nima Jordan the win, Dita Sabakbaka at all. Soberano from the corner. But is that going to be a moving screen? It's not going to count. Offensive foul called against Yusei Koga. Tough break there for the Red Lions. As you see, Coach Jamai Karib. Well, we've got to see that once more. Because Mark Cruz will definitely go for this challenge. One lucky break on the part of Letran. The 
Rose, naipit sa kanto, dinabas ang bola. Quinto, umikot, pinasa kay Soliano. Good race jumper for Soliano. Here in game number three, sampung puntos para kay John Soliano. 38-32 ang ating tala. Magbabalik po ang game three ng NCAA Season 91 Finals dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Magbabalik po ang Season 91 ng NCAA Game 3 ng Finals sa pagitan ng Red Lions at Knights. Maraming salamat muli sa napagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action sa Balls HD Sky Cable Channel 195. And we are also greeting everybody watching via the Filipino channel and on live streaming via dfc.tv and sports.abs.cbn.com Everybody having a good time sa ating Smile Your On Camp segment. It's a six-point lead para sa mga letranista. And you're a very excited spectator, player of Letran, 1955 to 1958. Wow. Tito Jean Salgado and his wife. Of course, with Tita Shello celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday and we hope you're enjoying this afternoon's basketball. Arthur De La Cruz, another triple here in the game. That's his seventh triple of the season. Loeb wants to respond. Within, rebound De La Cruz. De La Cruz, Naita with the bola. In a defense hand, Luis at Rakan. Sabi ni Chris Obana, Letran is hungry for a championship. And the Red Lions also want to make history. High low play, Pinasa sa loob, De La Cruz to Adiyogo, at may tinawag na foul. And that's going to be a playoff foul on the part of Bong Quinto, ensuring no end ones. All Adiyogo will have to take two free throws. Letran 38, San Beda 35. Ola Adiogo, two times difficult five member in season 90 and season 89. Missing on the first free throw. So you already did your job, no? Because of that hard foul. As Aaron Villafloor and Jordan Herrera watching. Today's basketball finals, game number three. Wow. Ang estimate ko dito, Ton, more than 19,000 people watching this game. Here live at MOA, Mall of Asia Arena. Well, the game attendance in game number one was 12,825. Game number two last Tuesday, it was 17,588. I'm very excited to find out kung ano ang bilang ng tao dito sa loob ng Mall of Asia Arena. Later on, as we see this Gopico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Gopico 78, Gopico's best latte ever. Sara, Naita with the bola. De La Cruz. Pinasa kay Amer. Labing isang segundo na lang ang nalalabing sa shot clock. Sara, pinasa kay Amer. Back to Sara for three. And then Sara! Who knocked down a crucial three late in game number two. Knocks down his first three here in game number three. There's going to be another lead change right here. Because of that three-point shot of Dan Sara. All of a sudden, Zambeda is on top by one point. Keras trying to respond. Soliano did pick up bola. And it looks like it will stay with Letran. Sun Beda has replayed the lead here, 39 to 38. Foul away from ball called on Dan Zara, which means two free throws for Ray Nambata. He was zero out of six in game number two. Did he make his adjustments? Finally, he made free throw to tie the ball game. Of course, Senator Freddie Webb. One of the fastest basketball players during his heyday, I hear. Definitely he is, together with uh, another uh, big guy in politics, Vice Mayor Yoyong Martinez. I heard they uh, raced in a track and field uh, in Coliseum. Is that true? Yeah, my dad tells me that story all of the time. 
it's nice to see Center Web here today. Cheering, of course, the Letran Knights. The Nacros, Bite, the Kanyan Tres. Luif, Pinasa Kay Kayrax. Puminto, Tumira, Bite, Tabi Karapora. Ay, mga pumunta. Balik sa San Beda. Yung like finals game number two nangyari kay Mark Rosian. At saka, saka dito kay Rey ng Bata. Both of them going for the ball. Both of them tapping the ball out. So, at least here the second quarter, it happened again. Ika nga eh, hindi nagkakaamu yan. <laughs> Balik ang kalamangan dito sa panic ng Letran. 40-39, this is game number three, the final game. Dito sa season 91 of NCAA, the 98th game of the season. It has been a long and fulfilling one. Arturo Dito sa San Beda. 20.8 seconds remaining here in the first half. A big isang segundo. Natitra dito sa shot clock. Sara. Pinedepensa din ang bata. Sara. Throws it away. Another turnover for the Red Lions. That's a 12th turnover. For the Red Lions, dito sa bakbakan na to. Remember, they're averaging 30.5 turnovers for both games. Four seconds to go here for the Knights in the first half. Nabata has to shoot. Nothing there. Wow. An eventful first half we just witnessed. As we see this Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. Letran was leading for majority of the first half as guys like JP Calvo have stepped up. Kevin Rakal, after a quiet game number two, already has 13. Dito sa bakbakra to. What about Arthur De La Cruz? able to knock in two triples and he's only knocked down five this season coming into this game speaking of threes it's been raining threes you say goga knocking one down from the corner what a battle it has been only one point separating the two teams halftime stats analysis and more sa aming pagbabalik ito game three ng san beda letran ncaa season 91 finals ilabas ang galing Inipong natuto ngayon ng Jam Pack Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay kung saan kasulukuyang babakbakan ang San Bernardino College Red Lions at ang kolehiyo ng San Juan de Letran Knights sa ating halftime tally 40 para sa Letran 39 para sa San Beda. Sa lahat mga PLTT Home and Smart subscribers, enjoy entertainment everywhere with the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Just visit iFlix.com to start your complimentary 14-day trial today. Boy, Pilipinas, at maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Ton Rojas kasama si Coach AG Alan Gregorio. Some interesting numbers we will be checking out right now dito sa first half, bakbakan sa pagitan ng Red Lions at Knights. At nakakagulat na lamang pa ang Letran pagdating sa inside points kontra sa mas malaki na Red Lions. And you know, we have been talking about that. Ano? That will have to be an advantage on the part of San Beda, but not in this ball game. As we can see, the field goals, San Beda with 46%, ang uh, field goals naman ng uh, Letran is only 41%. Pero sa fast break points, 11-2, that's a 9 disparity for Letran. Second chance points, yun ang sinasabi mo. Hindi dapat yun ang trend, ano? Dapat si Adiogun at saka sila Art de la Cruz ang namamayagpag pagdating sa loob. And when it comes to blocks, this is where you'll feel the big men of the San Beda Red Lions. Five as against only one for Letran. San Beda hasn't been playing big dito sa bakbak na to. Just 10 inside points sa mantalang Letran already with 18 inside points. Ito mga top performers para sa bawat kubran. De La Cruz nangunguna para sa Red Lions with 10. Sumunod naman si Tangqua with 6. Koga with 5. Hindi pa masyado gumagawa si Ola Diogon. Ola Diogon just has 5 points so far at the half. Si Kayrax naman ang nangunguna para sa Letran na may labing dalawang puntos. John Soliano with 10 points. Ray ng Batak with 6. Mark Cruz, just three points so far, Coach AG. And he was not able to score in the second quarter. We can see the shot chart right here for uh, San Beda. 
you see some uh, nice points for uh, De La Cruz. Two three-point shots and two inside points for uh, for Art. While for uh, John Soliano, one mid-range jumper and eight points coming from inside the paint. Okay, naman, Coach AG, let's go back to Coach AG's corner at silipin natin kung alin ang mga bagay na nagawa ng bawat kumpanan. Let's start off with San Beda College. Of course, number one point is Art, Amer, and Adiogun Show. Well, the Triple A with the Triple A game. Are they able to do that? Of course, Art has been showing up. Adiogun, not his usual numbers, but a better second quarter. But Amer, so far, not in this ball game as of yet. Stop the trans big three. They were able to stop at least Mark Cruz with only three points and control the rebounds and score inside something that they were not able to do. That is why they are down by one point. Ngayon naman, silipin natin ang kabilang panig. Let's check out Coach AG's corner on the Letran side. Number one, of course, is ensure well-oiled offense. 40 points at the half. 80 if you're gonna double this. That's something that is to the advantage of Coach Alden Ayo. Marksmanship from the outside. They've been hitting the three-point shots, but not like game number one. And sustained defensive energy. Somehow, they were able to, to give... Uh, Itong uh, koponan ng uh, San Beda, 13 turnovers. And if you double that, that's going to be 26. Again, some uh, something that uh, Letran has been doing the entire season. So that's two checks for the Letran side and just one check for the San Beda side. Kaya naman, dikit ang ating bakbakan. Just one point separating these two squads. Lamang po ang mga Letranista sa mga Bidista, 40 to 39. I'd like to thank you once again for joining us here on ABS-CBN Sports in Action. With Ton Ross, alongside Coach AG, Alan Gregorio, and at courtside, we also have Myrtle Sarosa reporting for Letran, and Siege Tantenko reporting for five-time champion, San Beda College, Red Lions. Handa na lahat para sa second half ng ating bakbakan. Again, I'm very excited to find out the gate attendance. Again, in game number one, 12,825 fans ang menood. Game number two naman, 17,588 people inside the Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay. Abangan natin kung ano ang bilang dito sa game number three. We're all set for the third quarter. Calvo, Luib, Soliano ng Batak, and Rakal will start things off for Letran. Mark Cruz will be coming off the bench. At para naman sa panic ng San Beda, we have Sara, Mokon, De La Cruz, Adiogun, and Amer. Nambatak with a fake. Bounce pass. Nata pick ni Mokon. Nambatak. Na-recover ng bola. Nambatak. Pumito. Pumik. Tumira off the glass. And in para kay Ray Nambatak. You know those are the kinds of shots that Ray Nambatak was not able to make in game number two. So far, he's got eight points. Sara. Nakalusot sa loob. Roll down Sara. With six points now in this game. That was tough, no? Because uh, the last line of defense that time was Kevin Rakal. Third over in the run, running opportunity on the part of San Beda. Sara. Surprising Rakal by jacking up that triple. Hit nothing but air. Nambata, Buminto, Tomira, and the Stingray! Erupted here in this game. He's got 11 points. Now back to a four-point lead for Letran. What a shot. Very confident at that. Power dribble. Stop to the time. Three-point shot. Ito naman ang sagot ni Amer. Just unable to put it down. But JV Mokot was there. Remember, Mokot had a big third quarter in game number two. Kung saan? Shai na kasiyang nabutos, nabatak again, that's a fly. Not that time. That time it was challenged by J.B. Mokon. I saw the coaching staff of, of San Beda telling them, run down and stop the transition. See this once more, what a great play on the part of Roldan Sara. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Lift the Smart Life. Dan Sara, the noble team, naagawan, na recovery ni Dela Cruz, ang bola. Lob pass. Miscommunication on the part of the Red Lions. Sabi ni Art, 
been asking in the road, huh? That's what I mean, this guy today. But all of you have been looking for a more open spot where he can get the ball. Rahal, playing the men's side in De La Cruz. Not a pick up bola. Got to go for it to Rahal. Loses the handle again. Now pull on the end of De La Cruz hands it off to Amer. Amer crosses the half court line. Pinasa kay Sara. Sara. Bumikot. Pinabas ang bola. Pinangka. Pinangbata. Pero may 3 second violation na tinawa. Fourth araw. Happy birthday. From oh. Sam and Hans. So it's the birthday of uh, Coach Morgi. Once we're together in uh, a lot of my teams. Sure, it's a uh, happy success moment. I always remember Coach Ford Arau as a member of the Red Cubs. He had such a powerhouse team with guys like Yuri Escueta, JV Casho, uh, Jamelson Ambayani. So, they mga nakalaban ko back in my high school days, and now it's nice to see him still part of the San Beda community. You know, just a special mention to the late John John Tapite who went to UP after that year. He something succumbed to a uh, cancer, no? Going back two years after. Going back to this ball game. Open shot, offensive rebound again. JD Mokon proving why he's one of the bigger names from last year to be coming from high school to enter college. Big offensive rebound and a putback, plus a bonus free throw. JV Mokon. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. JD Mokon having another good third quarter after scoring nine points in the third quarter in game number two. He's got seven points now. Dito sa bakbangan ito, five of which scored early on. Dito sa third quarter. Mokon, in a defense, Hansi ng bata. Mokon is six foot four, ng bata is six foot one. Gopico 78, best recharged moment brought to you by Gopico 78. Gopico's best latte ever. Nambata. Given room by Bokon, he lets it fly. Tapi ka ng bola, Nambata ka ng cover. Pinasa kay Calvo. Sampung segundo ang nalalabi dito sa shot ka. And John Soriano, buo ang loob. Knocking it down from the free throw line and from one lead change to another from San Beda and now back to Lebron 47-46 another lead change the past 30 seconds has been a roller coaster ride for both of these teams De La Cruz now leaving all Red Lions and scoring with 12 again he's only averaging 9 points in the past 6 games for the Red Lions Luim too strong on that triple Players falling on the floor. Kalax to Soliano. And John Soliano converts again. Four lead changes. San Beda to Lebron to San Beda again. And now back to Lebron. 49 14. We've got a timeout. Parang hatakang lubit para sa kalamangat. Soliano with a fast play. Of the game brought to you by BLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Five minutes and 44 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lamang ang letran 49-48. At nagbabalik ang NCAA season 91. Behind the scenes, these are the people na patuloy na nagchichir sa ating mga teams. Kaya naman yun, let's pay tribute to the cheering squad that always cheers ang letran. We have the letran cheering squad. At kasama natin, Unang-unang nagpapasalamat kami kay God sa Salatran community na hindi tumitigil na sumaporta sa amin kasi all this time sila ay tumutulong din sa amin throughout the season. Ah, yun na po. Kayo nagpapalakas ng loob na ating mga Letranites. Kaya naman, gusto ko makarinig na isang cheer mula sa inyo. Pwede bang sample? Sample na isang cheer mula sa inyo. Arriba! Go! Fight the Tran! Arriba! Go! Fight the Tran! Arriba! Go fight the Tran! Balik muna sa'yo, Anton. When 
Maraming salamat, Myrtle. Talagang uh, nakikihalo dyan sa mga letranista who are really screaming their loves out para sa mga nagigitig na matangaro na nagmuna pa sa Intramuros. John Soliano, labing anim na puntos. And you know, out of the 16 points, eight of which were on jump shots on the perimeter from 15 to 18 feet. Itong si John Soliano. Look at this pass. Sumama eh, no? Sumama itong si Ole Adeogun. But he was uh, already there. He, they were already able to contain the offense of Mark Cruz. Master Guacamole of the corner. Watch out for more Guacamole. Powered by Master Secreto. Nang mga guapo. Sara, walang matuntahan. Cruz, final ni Basen Amer. Soliano, by the way, has matched his career high of 16 points. Ngayon naman, balikan natin si Siege Tantengko sa panig ng San Beda. Siege? Yes, Anton. Kung may isang gusto si Coach Jamaica rin, ito ang makita ang puso at effort ng San Beda Red Lions. Sabi niya kanina at half, I see the fight in you but I want more. He's asking for them to show pride in sprinting down, confidence in attacking. Sabi niya, let's get this last game together. Speaking of together, I'm joined by Anthony Samrad who was with the Red Lions for four out of the five titles sa kanilang five feet. Anthony, what makes you more nervous? Playing on the court or watching as a fan? Man, all I can do right now off the court is just cheer and try to get my voice out there and help them. And if I was on the court, I'd be all my heart and just play so hard. So yeah. Speaking of playing so hard, you are very good friends with the seniors who are giving their all this game. Ano mensahe mo sa kanila for them to win decisively in the second half? Yeah, see, Ola, see, Art de la Cruz, um, Koga even, we've been playing for a long time. I know how hard they can play. So yeah, just need to protect the ball and play hard and just give it everything they've got. Yeah. Yeah, but message for them, Animal? I'm going to some better. There's some better fight. Thank you very much, Anthony. Back to you, Anton and Coach Allen. So it was Anthony and not Dave that we saw on our screens a while ago. Thank you very much, Siege. The fair Australian Anthony Semarad, who was the finals MVP of the Karaan season. And you know, it's very clear. Anthony knows how they're going to win this ball game. They've got to take care yes. of that ball. 17 turnovers already, Coach Allen, for the San Pedro side. 3 minutes and 43 seconds remaining. We are only the third quarter. Thank you for watching. And you're right, Coach KG, 19,000. I, I told you. I told you it's more than 19,000. 19,678 roaring fans inside the Mall of Asia Arena. Salongsan ng Pasa. Itangwa, kumipiesta sa inalim. And is that going to be a final smith on the part of Donald Tangwa? Easy shot, supposedly. If it's not a final shot. You know, we have described that was a very efficient player all throughout the season. So if you're a Sanbeda fan, it's very shocking to see him miss from close range. Throws, turns, blocked. Amer has the basketball. Lead pass. Pinasa kay Soberano. Inside to Donald. Donald is fouled. And Donald will head to the line for two. Well, Latran is not yet in penalty, Anton, so that will just be a baseline inbound. So that's a good foul on the part of Maxur Lewis. Ito kanina yung sequence kung saan uh, isusubo na lang ni Tangkwa, hindi pang inuya. Oo. Ito, pagkakataon para kay Tangkwa para makabawi, kaya lang nabitawan ang bola. The rookie mistakes being shown here by Donald Tanqua. Big basketball fans from the track, Armel Baldonado, Marmel from San Beda. And dami nilang nanunood, hindi na natin kaya ang i-accommodate dito sa loob ng Mall of Asia Arena. Three minutes remaining here, third quarter. Publico. Ng bata. Cruz. Inaatrasan si Goga. Cruz. Gets the basketball again. He takes it out to Quinto. Publico from the baseline. Ng bata falls down hard. And he gets right back up. Raj Tonko. Pinasa kay Goga. Mokon. 
Umaatake, Bokot, Kune, at sumapit ang depensa. He's just getting his rhythm. JV Mokong, he's doing his thing. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's not part of the big three yet. But JV Mokong is scoring for San Bernard and helping for them to be in this ball game. Copico 78, best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. All out support. Para sa mga magiging naman lalaro na Colegio de San Juan de Letran. There's another one of my players, it's Jonathan Aldave, one of the deadliest shooters to play for San Beda. And you know who's watching? Watching and reading. Former Finals MVP. Para sa Letra Knights. 51 to 50. Labangang Letra. Approaching the final two minutes. Dito sa third quarter. That's a turnover. Balik ang bola. Sa mga bedista. Goga, naita with the bola. Bounce pass to Moko. Gets it out to Tonko. One point separating the two teams. No look pass. Moko was not ready for that pass from Tonko. Jam pack. Tweety Theodore Horado. Thank you so much, DJ, for being very busy. Nakita ko siya, ayun siya, oh. Nandun siya sa isang kanto, eh. Hindi man lang makaupo, eh. DJ? Lakal unable to finish. Soberano, umatras. Tumira, binis. Tapi ka na bola, kanino mapupot ka. And look at Kiranak's dive for that basketball. He just could not hold on. And one lucky break after another. This time it's going to be lucky break for San Beda. Holding on to the tether already was Kevin Zakal. Pass it off to wide open Ray Nambata. Could have been a running opportunity, but he loses control of that tether. Jennifer Cabana in the ball game now para sa San Beda. Kabanak has the basketball. Kabanak, Tumikon, Tumira. That's an offensive foul. Using his left hand to ward off the defense. That was against Mark Cruz. Want to see that once more. But Mark Cruz was able to sell that, I'm sure. Would have been a great move for Kabanak. Bata calling out the play. United Mets Sani Tonko. Quinto. With the banner on him. Bong Quinto. Inside pass. Bobnico. In a basabola. Rahal. Tumira. Off the glass. Wala. Rebound. Bokos. This is a very young lineup on the floor. Para kay Gordon Jamai Karin. It's only Koga. Is a graduating player on the floor right now. Jeremy Cabana, wala. Moko, natapit ang bola, mananatili sa panig ng San Beda. Somehow you like the effort of this young man, J.D. Moko. He's been getting the offensive rebounds, pushing off against the more senior players of Letran. Some more substitutions of both squads. Ayun na muna si Nambata. Sino pa bang papay nga ito? Papasok dito. Ito si Felix Abreco. Good substitution with only 33 seconds remaining. Rick, uh, Kevin Rakal will be sitting, but I'm sure he'll be back sooner than later. Tonko with a fearless drive. Mokon recovers the basketball. And J.B. Mokon has once again owned the third quarter here in game number three. Remember, whoever leads at the end of the third quarter has a better chance of winning the ball game. Letran is 10 and 0. San Beda is 16 and 3 when they're on top at the end of the third. So that favors Letran. Kung sa kaling makuhuan na kalamangan dito at meron silang pagkakataon, 
with Felix Aprecu at the free throw line right now as we see this fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Aprecu's first free throw does not drop. Aprecu is only a 51.5% free throw shooter. A lot of booze from behind us. Felix Aprecu making the second one. Tied ball game, 8.4 seconds. This is only the second deadlock in this game. Calvo, the defense and Sintonko sticking to him like blue. And the mayhem defense forcing the Red Lions to turn it over. What an exciting ball game. For some of you watching, especially the batch of 1955 to 1958, D2 Team Salgado. Aba, inuminum tayo sa maraming tubig. Relax, relax lang and just enjoy the ball game. 6.2 seconds remaining. They must have seen the transfers championship against San Beda back in 1950. Quito! Oh! Big shot by Paul Quito! The former Juniors MVP from the Lagrange Squires with a gutsy shot. And again, going back to the stats that you mentioned, Coach AG. San Beda 16 and 3 when they're on top at the end of the third. Lebron is 10 and 0. What a story. Thank you, Pong Tucanes. Something has got to give. What a game it has been. The two rivals laying it all out on the floor, but only one of them will be named champions. Fourth quarter, sa aming pagpabalik, ito po game number three ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. Ilabas ang galing. Nagpapatuloy ang nagbabagang aksyon na hatid sa inyo ng Game 3 ng Finals sa Season 91 ng NCAA. Laman po ang Letran kontra sa San Beda dito sa simula ng 4th quarter, 54-52. Maraming salamat muli sila pagtutok ngayon ng Ton Rojas, kasama si Coach A.G. Alan Gregorio. And our courtside reporters for today, reporting for San Beda, Siege Tontengo. At para naman sa panic ng Letran, kasama natin si Berto Sarosa. You mentioned the numbers for Letran. 11-0 with leading after 3 quarters. I will give you another interesting number. Since 2006, San Beda's record in Game threes is 4 and 0. Wow. But another interesting number, the, the first team that wins a series. That's in game number one wins the championship. So a lot of numbers, a lot of advantages for both sides. But something's got to give because only one will be named champion pagkatapos ng quarter na ito. Or we could even go to an extension. You never know. <laughs> it's been a very unpredictable season 91 sa NCAA. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Finally, another two points on the part of the Antman, Mark Cruz. Open shot. We've got two for this ball game. Not that time. Pagkakanon para sa Letran, Calvo umatake, Calvo wala rebound, Pocon. Amer, running game for the Red Lions, Tanqua, he has been off today. The usually efficient Donald Tanqua, unable to score on those opportunities. So a lot of finals pressure being felt for the good defense, Donald Tanqua. What a pass. But Ray Kubi, who was not up to it, would have been a sure two points right there for the try. Hola, Diogo. Binalik muli ni Coach Jamaik Harin, Dan Sara, also back on the floor. They are joined by Amer, Mokon, and De La Cruz. Letran has Calvo, Cruz, Rakal, Kubiko, and Bob Pinto. Hola, Diogo. De Noble Team. Pinabas kay Sara. Cross-court pass. Amer for three. Wala. Rebound, Sara. Wala pa rin. Ng Red Lions. Isa na naman pagkakataon para kay Amer. Wala pa rin. Rebound, De La Cruz. Walang tinawag na foul. De La Cruz, umikot. Pinabas ang bola. Sara for three. Rondan, Sara. After three three-point shots, two by Basel Amer, finally, a three-point lead by Rondan. Sara, 1.3 para sa ng Calvo, 
Binasa kay publiko. Knights uncharacteristically slowing things down. Dito sa possession na ito. Binasa kay Cruz. Binasa kay publiko. And great publiko. Tumagbog ang tigot ng kanyang ulo sa hard court. Pero may pasok niya ang basket de la Cruz. Nagkakainitan na po sa ilalim. Yeah, this is something that should not happen. A lot of points being thrown. Alam mo, isang araw, may limang piso ako nakakuha. Ito, that's a lucky... <laughs> that's a lucky money. Tignan muna natin ito. Pumasok yung jump shot ni Ray Publico. The first time he hit from Ray Publico is... Nakulat ka. Blood. blood. They should catch things up. Such a beautiful ball game. Accidental. It was an accident. Ola Adiogo did not intend to hit Ray Publico. But at least Ray Publico was able to make that shot. Ray Publico's rookie year in the NCAA was 2009. NCAA season 85. Kasabay niya si Kevin Alas at Junjun Alas. He did not play in 2011 and 2012. This is his fifth and final play here para sa Letran. Malaking tiwala na binibigay sa kanya ni Coach Alden Ayo. And we see Coach Alden Ayo trying to call his players down. This is a man who instead of taking marketing, like his teammates during his playing years, took up philosophy. He believes in spontaneity. He wants his players to enjoy the moment, enjoy this game. As De La Cruz shoots this technical free throw. And you know, that's always very important. When do you get this chance again? For the players, even for us, Anton, no? Ito mga ganito, ibinibigay nila to ng pagkakataon. A lot of firsts today. This is the first 23 game season para sa Red Lions. This is the first time San Beda and Latran are playing each other for the sixth time in one single NCAA season. Yan ang sinasabi natin. Huwag na kayong tumapon. Dito sa loob ng court. Napakaganda ng laro. Yan din ang sinasabi ng ating mga kaibigan si Wayne at saka si Ian Victorio who are also enjoying this ball game. Ronald Gador and a lot of his friends from San Beda. Second free throw made by Art De La Cruz. Balikang bola sa punan. Coach Jamal Karim. Coach Alden Ayo dedicating this game to his mother, Eduarda Ayo, from Barangay Capuyan sa Sorsabon. As Dan Sara jacks up a triple in and out. Balikang bola sa Letran. That's going to be a top out right there. Ola Diogo. A lot of... A lot of, ano, a lot of uh, lucky points, lucky points being thrown back. We get it, Mami Anton. Throws the net defense, Andy Sara. Bounce pass, Kai Soliano. Soliano wants to give it back to the Ant Man. The Ant Man throws it up. Tapi ka na bola. Kanino mo pupunta? Basera Mare. Natapi ka bola. Napunta kay Dela Cruz. Back to Basera Mare. Amer gives it down low to Ola. Outside to Amer. Amer goes inside. It trickles out. Adiyogun travels. That's an easy call to make right there. Did not get his footing right. Ola Adiyogun. That's going to be another turnover on the part of San Beda. No, wala sa balance. Itong si Ola Adiyogun. Bitakita dito sa replay na ito. Nanatili ang bola sa panik ng Letran with 6 minutes and 55 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. 58 to 56, just 5 points in a game for Ola Adiyogun, who's been playing big against Letran this season, averaging 18.2 points per game against Letran. And Kevin Lacan, first basket since the first half. It's going to be a very big three-point shot over the outstretched arms of Art De La Cruz. De La Cruz lobbing on top to Ola Diogo, who's called for an offensive foul. 
high low play, being fronted, had to push up. Tom Soliano. But that's not the game to see each that thank us as on better side. See each? Yes, Anton, if you look at the match, and you see Donald, the poor, you know, the poor, 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 the Well, Siege, we're about to find out just how solid this brotherhood is as Kevin Rakal knocked down another triple. Back-to-back -back triples mula kay Kevin Rakal. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL. The number one home broadband. Labang ang letran. 64 to 56. Timeout. Coach Jamai Karin. Kapit mga kamamilya, magbabalik po ang Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. Kevin Rakal, a career-high 28 points in game number one. No, game number two, medyo tahimik ang laro nitong si Kevin Rakal. Just nine points. Pero dito sa game number three, muling lumikha ng ingay. Si Kevin Rakal shooting the lights out. He's got 18 points, including back-to-back -back triples dito sa fourth quarter. And you know, Tom, 63 points scored for the big three in game number one. In game number two, the entire team scored only 61 points. So that is for the line. Again, you have to remember, it is a high scoring ball game. Anything about 70 points is to the advantage of the Letran Knights. And with 5 and 50 remaining, already 64 scored by Letran during this game. San Beda averages 85.6 points per game. Ang Letran naman, 81.1 points per game. But the thing is, Letran only allows 75.5 points per game. San Beda, on the other hand, 79.1. Luib, in the defense, Andy Amer. Here comes the pick. Luib kicks it out to the corner. Rakal, too strong. Adiogot with the rebound. Binasa kay Amer. Amer, umikot. Amer, on the pass, and in. Baser Amer with his first field goal. Here in game number three. Very important field goals, very important points. Look at this. What a spin move. That was a foul, definitely. Baser Amer with his bonus free throw. Master Guapa Move in the quarter. Watch out for more Guapa Moves. Powered by Master Secreto. Guapo rebound and put back para kay Ola. Diogo na meron ng pitong puntos dito sa bakbaka na to. 64, Letran, 60, San Bela. Nambatak with a floater, and it's good. Trey Nambatak has got 13 points dito sa narok ito. And this is going to be picked, an offensive foul called on San Bela. That would be on Jose Koga. Again, Mark Cruz was able to sell that. Panore natin muli. Mark Cruz and Jose Koga nagbabanggaan. And the forearm of Yusei Koga. And Mark Cruz able to draw that foul. Balikan muna natin ngayon si Myrtle Sarasa. Myrtle? Lahat siya ng mga Lesternista natin ngayon. And nagpapapinan talaga ng kanilang support na para sa ating mga Lesternista. Sambeda has always been the KJ for our team, you know, and he seemed to be uh, not a standing track. But right now, we are ahead by six with uh, less than five minutes to go, but still a lot of the return to advance the ball. So I just hope that, you know, when people thought that this team would even make it to the finals or even to the semi finals, now we're in the finals and we have a chance to win it. Thank you very much, sir. I'm going to go to the challenge. Thank you very much, Marco. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like hearing the original sportscasters, no? Of course, Senator Freddie Webb, one of those men who analyzed the game very well. But even before that shot of Mark Cruz, grab it. Ikaps na siya talagang nilalaro dito ng kapunan, ng Leblanc. Walang puntos na 
up out of that Adman. Mark throws 69-62. Amer floats it up and in. We talked about the Triple A game of the Triple A. Adi Yogun, Amer, Art de la Cruz. And so far in the fourth quarter, it's a Paser Amer show. 69-64. Cruz has the basketball. Cruz, in attacking the defense, and the Diogo Nakoga, little bit of bola. Louis for three. Voila, offensive rebound, Ray Nampata. Remember the last three minutes of game number two, Letran was not able to score a single point on top. That's right. The last basket came at the three minute and 28 second mark. A free throw from Major Louis. Amer steps back, fires, wow! and bends it off the glass. Wow! Unbelievable! He was zero out of ten before the spin move. Basel Amer showing why he's pro bound. Seven out of his eight points. May pass up the Amer. He was a quarter NATO. And remember, Basel has a streak of six straight championships that started as a junior as a member of the Red Cup. As we see the strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Timeout muna tayo. Dalawang minuto at tatlumput. Pitong segundo ang nalalabi dito sa bakbaka na to. Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. Ilabas ang galing. Malapit na po tayo sa huling dalawang minuto ng Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals sa pagitan ng Letran at San Beda. Mark Rose, nagpakawala ng tres. Bang! Copico 78, best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. It is Letran basketball. Luiv will be the trigger man. He gives it up to Nambata. Nawala sa balance. Pinasa kay Luiv. Cross-court pass, binigay kay Raka. K-Rax has to shoot. Two seconds to go. Raka! Oh! Are you kidding me? Wow! That was a broken play, and that was great defense on the part of San Peda. That's the fifth three-pointer of the game. Para sa veterano forward na si Kevin Rakal. Is that the shot of the ball game? Big offense, San Peda, Basel Amel, missing this one. Was that the dagger in the heart of the San Peda Red Lions? Still a lot of basketball left to be played. Cruz, Umatras, Tumila! Two big three-point shots. Kevin Russell, Mark Cruz, the big three. They came here, showed up to play basketball. Finals, game number three. The Letran Knights, nagpapaulan ng dress dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay. It started with this, a strong move of a game. Brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Maraming dinalang bala. Si Ant-Man at si K-Rax. Copico 78 best recharge moment. Brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. Everybody going crazy. Coach Glenn DePasso. Manny Pacquiao. Mark Cruz. It's a party. Para sa mga letranista. Dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay. A minute and 53 to go. Kapit mga kapamilya, magbabalik po ang Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. Nagbabalik po ang Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals sa pagitan ng San Beda at Letran. 6 to nothing run. Pagkatapos ng dalawang magpasunod na tres. Mula kay Kevin Rakan at Mark Cruz. But you know, Don, this is just a three-possession ball game right here. Yes. So they got to be able to score. This going to be a big three. But they have to make this instant. Big rebound, two possession ball game. Now if Sanbella makes a stop and makes a three-point shot, we have a ball game. Luim, the defense on the Amer. Labing isang segundo ang nalalabi sa shot clock. Rakal, nakuha ang bola. Kevin Rakal, over at Diogun. Wala, Amer, tumatakbo. Amer, lays it up, and in. Four to zero run. Coming from the timeout, Coach Jamal Janine with a minute and 20 remaining. I told you we've got a ball game. Will it be dynasty or destiny? Strap on your seatbelts, folks. Adiogo, Gosomerano, he was blocked by Nambata. 
They have plenty of time. No need for them to take, to take that three-point shot. The Letran Knights nagtatangkak makamit muli ang titulo na huli nilang napanalunan noong 2005. San Pera on the brink of history looking to become the first team to win six straight NCAA championships. But only one of those things can happen today. Who has the bigger heart? Luwib with a steal. Bakjoy Luwib. Pumete. Nilabas ang bola. Nakulot nilang bata. And Mark Rose has the basketball with less than a minute to play. That was a great play. That was a great defensive effort on the part of Bakjoy Luwib. Eight seconds remaining. One on one. Atnan. Nilabas kay Rakal. Rakal. Sumalpal ni Dela Cruz. Rebound na Riyogo. Napunta kay Arthur Dela Cruz. Down by four, ang Red Lions. Amer, dinedepend sa ni Cruz. Amer, moves inside. At the Yogun with a basket. 25 seconds remaining. Does Lebron have a timeout? Are they going to call a timeout? Coach Ardenayo has two timeouts remaining. Coach Samaykarin has one timeout remaining. But Coach Alden just used one of his last two timeouts. So one timeout each. Para sa bawat kumunan, magbabalik po ang Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. Nagsanip kwersa ang mga bidista at veteranista ngayong araw upang supportahan ang kaliga nilang kumunan dito sa Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. And the great attendance today has risen once again. We have 20,158 Gordon fans inside the Mall of Asia Arena dito sa lungsod ng Pasay. Bola ng Knights. From Jordan Luib, nagahanap ng kakampi. Pinasa kay Soliano, pinalik kay Luib, cross-court pass. Nakinambat ng kapola, pinagay kay Rakal. The Knights are building the clock. Amir with a steal! Amir with a steal! And Pasek Amir has tied the game up at 20. At 75, excuse me. And that's an interfere run on the part of San Pedro. Lebron has a timeout. And it's going to be Lebron basketball. It's gonna be Lebron basketball with 13 seconds remaining. The finals number three. Natapik ni Moko ng bola mula sa likod. Nakuha ni Amer. At naitablan niya ang ating bakbakan 75 all with 13 seconds to go. That's what you call the heart of a champion. You've got experience. Lebron has to close out this ball game, but then again, for the past 10 years, they don't have an experience in closing out a finals match. In the past nine years, San Pedro has won the NCAA championship eight times. The only time they lost was in 2009 contra sa San Sebastian. Ray, Mike, Mr. Ray, set the screen, and Mike, we got to see Mike. Ayon. Pag wala si Mark, Mark, pag meron, huli mo. Okay? Pag wala si Mark, pare, namin ka, Job. Hand off kay Kerax. Okay? Kerax, pag meron, huli mo. Pag wala, nandito si Ray. Okay? Wala na. Go, go, go. Mark, Mark. Sa akin ka to. Go, go. What a way to say it. Mark, sa atin na to, making his team believe that it's still going to be their ball game. With a big smile, but then again, it's execution. Is the ball going to be taken by Mark Cruz? It can't get any better than this, Anton. Labing tatlong segundo ang nalalabi. Rakal, pinasa kay Soliano. A potential championship winning basket right here. That's a foul on Sara. Sinabi ni coach Alvin Ayo before the game that basketball is all about how much you love the game. Kung gaano mo kamahal ang laro. It's all about heart. And that's what he wants his team to show in this moment right here. 8.9 seconds ang nalalabi. Dito sa fourth quarter, Soliano. Hand off para kay Rakal. Nothing there. Ola Diogon. Stolen away by Cruz. 
and we will go into overtime. But prematurely, the confetti has been unleashed here. But as a side of Electronista, hindi pa tapos ang ating bakbatan. There should be no confetti. No team has won yet. Two minutes and 20. Mark Cruz has a big three-point shot, but then it's a big eight to zero run by San Peda. We've seen five overtime games. Dito sa season 91 of NCAA, and we will see one more, a sixth overtime. There were still about three seconds to go when Ola Adiogon made that pass. Nanata pick ni Mark Cruz. Gapit mga kamamilya, hindi pa tayo tapos. Magpapatuloy ang game number three ng NCAA Season 91 Finals dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Hindi pa tapos ang NCAA Season 91. Pagkatapos ng 40 minuto ng bakbakan dito sa hardcore ng Mall of Asia Arena sa Luxon ng Pasay, tabla na naman ang ating bakbakan. 75 all. And now, now it's going to be another momentum shift on the part of San Beda. We will check how many deadlocks we've had. We'll check how many lead changes we've had. But this is going to be the biggest run of the season. Two minutes and nine seconds when Mark Cruz took that three-point shot and made it, which made it an eight-point lead for the track. You and after about... that, after that, it's been an eight to zero run and almost a chance for Sandela to have won in regulation. Coach AG, you asked about the deadlocks. There have only been three deadlocks here in this game and ten lead changes. Leading scores para sa bawat kumunan, San Beda led by Arthur De La Cruz with 15 points. Kevin Nakal leading the way para sa Kaletranista with 21 points. Now, bago magtapos ang fourth quarter, biglang uh, sumabog yung confetti cannon sa side ng Letran. Kaya naman, dinilinis muna ang mga housekeeping dito sa Mall of Asia Arena ang hard court bago magpatuloy itong bakbakan na to sa overtime. Well, of course, that's uh, Ronnie Ricketts also enjoying this ball game. Let's go now to Myrtle Sarosa with his update on the Latran side. Myrtle? Yes, Anton. Uh, kanina nga during the huddle, ay nakinig ako dito kay Coach Alden Ayon. Sabi niya sa ating mga, uh, mga Latranites, sabi niya, just stick to the game plan and just give your all. Kanina nga din ay kinukomfort ni Coach Alden si Mark Cruz dahil nagkaroon ito ng cramps at ngayon ay hindi ganong makatayo. Sabi Coach sa kanya, John, wala, ka, wala, ka, wala tayo ngayon ganong magagawa. But maniwala ka sa mga teammates mo. Baka sana mamaya-maya, uh, let's hope and pray na, mas, na mawala ang kulikat ni, ni Mark Cruz so that he can go back and give us all ngayon sa overtime. Balik mo na siya yun, Ton. Myrtle Sarosa, a popular and humble artist na madalas nating mapanood sa Channel 2 pero dito sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action, pinatunayan niya na kaya niya maging isang magaling ka Portside reporter. Thank you very much, Myrtle, for giving us your time dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA. I salute you for a job well done. As we are waiting for the start of overtime, 75 all pa rin ang ating talaan. Balikan natin. Final moments of regulation. Kapos ang tira ni Rakal. Napulot ni Adiogo ng bola. Mark Cruz deflecting that pass intended for Dan Sara. estimated 20,158 inside the Mall of Asia Arena now. Well, there is always that lucky eight. 17,488 in game number two. 20,158 game number three. And 
all of you who are texting me to give you tickets, how dare you? <laughs> well, I honestly am sad that the season is about to end, but I'm happy there's more basketball left to play. Five minutes of extra time. The sixth overtime. Dito sa season 91 ng NCA. Maraming salamat muli sa napagtutok ngayon. At Juan Rojas, kasama si Coach A.C. Alan Gregorio. Sobrang daming nakatutok. Yes. Chef Alan, Alan Kwa. Of course, Bennett de Villeres. Thank you so much for watching, Mike Lomi. Sabi nila, malamig-lamig na raw, Anton. At hinihintay na raw nila tayo. Here we go. Basenever, who made the game tie play-up. Matapos matamig. Ni JV Bongo ng bola mula sa likod ni Mang Jor Luwip. Adiyogo, inaatrasan ang depensa. De La Cruz could not finish the play. Mang Jor Luwip with a steal. Luwip with a steal. And Luwip is able to give the threat back the lead. And again, the first two points here in overtime coming from Letran. What a steal coming from Mang Jor Luwip. Amen. The switch comes. Rakal ang nakatao sa kanya ngayon. Foul away from the ball. It's on Soliano. John Soliano. It's been a revelation here in the finals. What a play. Almost a missed shot. Good challenge on the part of graduating player Yusei Koga. And the Yogo Superpal to Soliano. The six foot five Soliano blocking the six foot eight Ola Adiogun. Kung pwede lang Marvin, pwede. Sabi ni Marvin Cruz, kung pwede lang ipahiram ang aking legs kay Mark na nagka-cramps na. Maraming salamat, Idol. Marvin Cruz, checking out this game. Supporting ang kanyang kapatid na si Mark. As Mokon knocks down the first free throw, merong labing tarawang punto si J.V. Mokon dito sa bakbakan na to. 10.7 rebounds, these are big free throws. Another deadlock right here. We are in overtime, 77 all. Balikan natin si Siege Tantenko sa panik ng San Beda. Siege? Yes, Anton, the hope for history is alive over on the San Beda side. The five that Coach Jamaica has fielded is a tried and tested set of players. The bench is on its feet. It is also on its knees. Lahat sila nagkakaisa sa isang battle cry. Atin, ito, at yun na nga ang sinabi ni Artelo Cruz bago ang laban ko. Ayokong isipin ang chance ng matalo kami. Basta, ipapanalo namin ito. Back to you, Anton, Coach Allen. You know, Coach AG, I've worked with so many courtside reporters throughout the years, and Siege is definitely one of the most hardworking. We applaud your efforts, Siege, and thank you so much. We salute you for a job well done. Tapos ang tira ni Goga, napulot ni Bongo ng bola. Fresh possession para sa mga medista. Amer, tumira, harap-harapan, in and out. Tapi niya na bola, mapupunta kay Yusei Goga. Kinasa sa loob. Mokon, wala ang kanyang reverse. Baksak si Mokon, napulot ni Luib ang basketball. That's gonna be a guinea right there. Could have been an open shot. Do you need to give your legs to Mark Cruz, Marvin? I think so. Though he was able to get that big offensive rebound a while ago, they're still on top by two points. Let's run this. Amer to Adiyogun, and we are tied once again. And who's gonna take charge of this game? Triple A, Art Amer Adiyogun. Deadline, 79 all, 2 and 35 remaining. Luim, nagbago ng isip, dinabasa bola ng batak for three. Sobra, napin ka ng bola, kanino mapupunta, naagaw ni Basera Bear, kay Kevin Rakal. Amer, zigzagging his way, through the defense, off the glass, wala. Boko, fouled by ng bata. That's what Ben Steph can do for you. Here in endgame, these are big rebounds being shown, being done by the sophomore. That's JP Mokon.
What a game it has been for JV Mokon, matching his outputs again, number two. The big tatlo putos para kay JV Mokon, sophomore forward. You know, the question right here for Coach Alvin Ayo, do you feel in your big man? At least for 30 seconds, he's being out-rebounded, at least here in the final five minutes, and also in overtime. You've got Felix Apreku, you've got Ray Publico. JV Mokon, silent operator, doing his thing. And that's gonna be a miss, but it's gonna be last touch. By who? Sanbeda claiming it's John Celiano. Just ensure that there are no technical fouls being called at this point and at this juncture of the ball game. Silipin natin dito sa replay na ito. Regardless, the ball stays. Bola ng mga netranista. Cross. Sara diving for the basketball. And an offensive foul on Mark Cruz. That's gonna be a big stop. Big defensive effort. Rodan Sara. Let's see this once more. Offensive foul. Antinawag. Na ating mga officials, our officials for today, Nestor Sembrano, Carl Marcinez, and Alan Barria. Well, he was on top of that play. That's a good call right there. Referee Nestor Sembrano calling that offensive foul on Mark Cruz. Under two minutes to play, dito sa overtime. Amer, dinedepensa ni Luis. Parating si Ola Diogun para magbigay ng screen. Amer. He calls back at Diogo. This time, Amer uses the screen, but a switch comes. Tatlong segundo ang nalalabi! And Basser! Amer! Drops the hammer from the free throw line! One minute, 26 seconds! Wow! Basser! Amer! Amer playing on a shoulder that was dislocated early in the season. A bump right shoulder that forced him to miss nine games. And remember, he was zero out of ten before that spin move. But so far, look at this, taking charge here in regulation and in overtime, Paser Amel. They say championships are won by the team who has the bigger heart. Both these teams show just how strong and huge their hearts and are I'm today. Sure, I'm sure if only the management committee can give two trophies, <laughs> two champions, wow, these teams, both Letranos and Beda, both deserving it. What a classic. Classic game number three. Again, the first time that San Beda and Letranos face each other for a sixth time in a single season. 281. Don't come on, don't come the score, huh? I did not want to have it. Less than a minute to play. Amer wants a clear out. Then the man Sandy Soliano. He has a nice Sara. Sara's got the shoot. Amer puts it up. And that is a shot clock violation. Should have been a shot right there by Roldan Sara, but he chose to give it back to Baser Amer. 45 seconds remaining. A chance for Letran to again get the lead. Mark Cruz has played 32 minutes here in this game. Coach Jamai Karin, the always intense champion coach. Eight championships in 13 years with the Ateneo Pugitlets. He wants to deliver a championship for his alma mater, the Sun Better Red Lions. So yes! Open shot, set up by Mark Cruz. A 4 2 pin run on the part of the Letran Knights. And that is a career high 18 points for John Soliano. What a time for it to come. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home. Broadband, Lamang Tanaman, and Letran Knights timeout, Sun Better.
32.6 seconds. Yan na lang po ang oras na nalalabi dito sa overtime ng Game 3 sa Finals. NCAA Season 91, San Vera vs. Letran. Tabak ang Knights sa Red Lions, 83-82. Time and again, you know, if you have a heart condition, better turn off that television. Tubig, tubig muna. One car jack of a ball game, 32.6 seconds. Will Sun Beda go for his sixth speed? Or after 10 years, will it be Lebron? Well, on a timeout, he goes to Mike Harin. Amer, missing on that runner. Amer gets the basketball back. Coach Aldenayo still has one more timeout remaining. Amer to De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Wala. Sabi niya na bola. Kanina na pupunta. JB Calvo has the basketball. And that's going to be a foul. San Pedro was not able to make a shot. They had all the chances. One point lead for the ground. 6.7 seconds remaining. Will it be? A championship but you can remember even if Letran makes one or they sink two that's just gonna be a one possession ball game 6.7 is an eternity of basketball yes that's a foul and that's a good call that's a veteran smart on the part of all Adiogun they cannot allow the time to dwindle John Soliano 18.7 rebounds game of his life Game of his life, he sits the first one. A 67% free throw shooter, John Soliano. Labing shot na puntos, career high. Second free throw, rattles out. And possession arrow points in favor of the Lebron Knights. It's gonna be a big call. That will be a big call. Coach Arvinayo, ginamit ang kanyang huli. Timeout. Bola ng Letran with 6.4 seconds to go here in overtime. This is a good move in the park. Of uh, Ward Arrow, the birthday boy, pulling Ola Adiogun. First. That was Soliano. Was it Soliano? Or is that Luis? Luis was already on the free there. Throw line. And then Art de la Cruz was also already there. So this will be a very good call on the part of the veteran referee. He cannot let go of not calling that one. The ball was still in the hands of the free throw shooter when two guys went in. So that is an automatic double violation. And possession arrow will have to pinpoint where the ball will be, and that will be for Letran. Big break on the, on the part of the Knights. Panoorin natin muli dito, Coach AG. Too excited was Luip. But Art De La Cruz also going in. Thank you so much, Direct Al Neri. That makes that full explanation. Meron pang araw, eh, no? Pwede na tayong hindi magsalita. Salamat. Miss shot. Double lane violation. Bola para sa Letran. That's part of the breaks of the game. 2005. That was the last time Letran won a championship. They were the hosts during that year. They won its 16th championship, defeating Philippine Christian University. That was also Coach Dewey Alas's third NCAA championship. Cruz has the basketball. Sara giving up a foul there. And that will be the fifth for San Beda, two free throws for Mark Cruz. This is 6-1, it's still a one possession ball game. We don't want this coin and whatever is being thrown to the basketball court. Mark Cruz can give this championship to Letran. 
One more will make it a two possession ball game. It can't get any better than this at all. 14 points for Mark Cruz. The Ant-Man who has been marvelous throughout NCAA season 91. But he misses on the second. Amer to Sorella. Oh! Lebron wins! Lebron wins! Colegio de San Juan Telegraph. And Patum Hadi, the NCAA, Nakabikuli, a championship in the Hulina Napatuna, no doubt 2005. Coach Alvin Ayo told me before the game that in 1999, when he won the championship as a player, Nakbago at Kanyang Buhay. Not to take away anything from the San Pedro Red Lions. What a comeback! But that round really deserved it to win this one. History has been made here inside the Mall of Asia Arena, Dito sa Lungsod ng Pasay. Mark Cruz and the Lebron Knights have achieved the impossible. They did not make the Final Four last season. They do not have the services of a foreign big man. Pero naniwala si Coach Alvin Ayo. Naniwala ang kanya mga players. Naniwala ang buong Lebron community na kaya nilang magtagumpay at maging kampiyon ng NCAA. You know, in the game number one that uh, Lebron won, I was able to talk to Father Vic Calvo and he said, if, there, if they have a uh, foreign player, there is no John Soliano. So that just speaks about it. The game of his life, he scored 19 or 20 points. 19 points for wow. John Soliano. Wow. The streak of San Beda has been broken. I mentioned earlier, 4-0. At San Beda, pagdating sa Game 3 since 2006. Letran has broken that streak. Ray Nambata in tears. Tubo Agayan de Oro. Lumipad pa Tubo Manila. At anong baon nama. Dalawang libong piso. Ngayon, siya ay isang NCAA champion. And we've got some fighting going on behind that, Anton. The fans, the alumni. The Bishop stop. A classic ball game. Both teams deserving to win the championship. My hats off to Coach Jamai Karin and the rest of the coaching staff. Team manager Jude Roque. The management team, of course, headed by Boss MVP. But you know, the team that really deserves it is Letran. They fought hard. They were already down in overtime. And yet, those big shots coming from John Soliano. And that big steal, of course, of uh, Macchur Louis to start the overtime. And I think final score, 85 Letran, 82 para sa San Beda dito sa overtime. Coach Aldin Ayo. Sinabi niya sa akin, bago ang laban na to, hindi siya magiging coach ng Letran kung hindi siya ng champion bilang player noong 1998 at 1999. Winning the championship back then changed my life. Yun ang sinabi ni Coach Aldin Ayo. We will be back for the official coronation of the new champions of the NCAA when we return dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Nakarating ka po tayo sa dulo ng isang napakalupit na bakbakan. San Beda singing their alma mater song for the last time dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA cheering on the Red Lions who fought valiantly but their streak of winning championships has been stopped at five. That man, Coach Aldin Ayo, Tubok Sorsogon, the man who delivered the championship 
para sa Colegio de San Juan de Letran ng kanyang alma mater. What a game. What a series. Instant classic. Hindi natin matatanggal to sa ating mga alaala coach AG for a very yeah. long time. Yes, yes, yes. But who will forget that five streak of San Beda? They have to be very proud. Yes. We have covered, we have seen, they have conquered, and it's now time for a new champion. Congratulations to the entire coaching staff of Coach Alden Ayo, Coach Nap Garcia, Coach Luis Gonzalez, Team Consonto, Glenn Capacho, Coach Jeremy Erestian, and of course, their backer, Congressman Manny Pacquiao. Now our course reporters are getting busy right now on the hard court. Punta natin ngayon si Siege Tanteco. Siege, sino kasama mo dyan? Kasama ko si Kevin Rakal. Dalawa sa tatlong games natin dito sa finals siya. Ang best player of the game. Kevin, you're ending your college career on a very good note. Anong tumatakbo sa isip mo nung fourth quarter? Um, nung fourth quarter, kaala ko sa amin eh. Pero alam ko yung San Beda, hindi nitigil to hanggang dito mitigil yung final buzzer. Yun, yun ngayon nangyari. Tapos sa overtime, um, Una ko na sinabi sa amin ni Coach na sa atin to. Kaya doon mas lalo kami kinahan ng overtime. Sabi mo nga, ganadong ganado yung buong samahan nyo. As one of the kuyas of the left run nights, ano yung pinakamamimiss mo sa samahan nyo? Ah, yung pinakamimiss ko rito sa mga teammates ko, yung mga, mga kalokohan namin, yung mga ginagawa namin sa, sa dorm. Tapos yung, siyempre yung samahan namin, halos ilang taong ko na silang kasama yun. Mamimiss ko talaga sila. And I'm sure mommy miss Karin Nila. What a way to end your college career. Ngayon naman puntahan natin si Myrtle with Coach Alden Ayo. Coach, after a 10-year na title drought, ngayon nakamit niyo po ito. Coach, ano po yung masasabi niyo sa lahat ng support na sa inyo? Thank you very much. To the Letran community, I hope you enjoy the whole season. Para sa inyo to. Para sa inyo to. Tama na yung sakit. Tayo naman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coach, kanina nga, uh, bago, nag, bago, na, bago nagsimula ang game, nag-usap tayo. Sabi niyo sa akin, nung nag-umpisa ito, ina-underestimate yun naman tao. Pero sinabi niyo sa inyong team na maniwala talaga sa'yo and to take a leap of faith. Ngayon na you took that leap of faith, ano coach ba sasabi niyo sa lahat? Well, God is good! Champion! Congratulations, Coach! Ginawa namin lahat. Lahat ng pagkukulang, pinunuha ng God. Pinunuha ni God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Coach Alden Ayo. Ngayon naman, balikan natin si Siege Tantengo. Yes, kasama ko yun si Mark Cruz. Mark, nung pumunta ako sa team practice mo, sabi mo sa akin, wow, dami nagsisigawan. Sabi mo, ikaw bilang team captain, ikaw yung dapat pinaka matapang. Ano naman masasabi mo sa tapang na pinakita ng buong Knights this game? Um, sobrang, sobrang saya ko dahil yun pinakita nila. Alam ko, nakikita nilang nahihirapan ako, pero nag-step up sila for me. But still, in-encourage ko pa naman sila. Uh, laban lang, puso. Yun lang yung, yun lang yung naging... naging power namin para magawa ito namin. And you did it together knowing what you know about the younger Letran Knights. Sa tingin mo, is this the start of a new dynasty in the NCAA? Uh, I think ito na yung simula dahil yung, yung mga, dahil kay coach, dahil sa sistema niya, iniwala siya, then yung mga players namin, iniwala sa sistema ni coach. So yun na may yung, yung, yung importante sa game eh. May iniwala ka sa coach mo. At kitang-kita natin ang trust na binigay niyo kay coach Alden Ayo. Balikan natin si Myrtle. Siege, ngayon naman kasama natin si Ray ng Batak. Ray, Ray kanina nakwento mo sa akin na nung 15 years old ka, lumipad ka mo las kagayan de oro papunta dito sa Maynila. Na allowance na meron ka. Anong masasabi mo na lahat ng pagsakripisyo mo ay really worth it? It's a dream come true. Woo! Ray, anong mensahe mo sa lahat na tulad mo nangangarap na pumunta dito sa Maynila at matupad ang mga dreams nila na maging katulad mo? Unang-una, gusto ko magpasalamat sa Letran community! Arriba Letran! Arriba Letran! 
Salamat. Thank you very much, Ray. At ngayon naman, balikan natin si Anton at si Coach Alan sa ating panel. Emotional moment dito sa loob ng Mall of Asia sa lungsod ng Pasay sapagkat meron tayong bagong kampiyon. Recapturing the championship they last won in 2005, Colegio de San Juan de Letran. What a historic moment. But you know, Ton, again, two minutes and nine seconds, when Mark Cruz took that three-point shot for an eight-point lead, everybody thought, and I thought it was all over, but that eight-point, that eight-zero run that was done by San Beda just proved how much uh, heart, how big their heart is, and they just don't want to give up. But then again, to start the overtime, Makchur Luib with two points, then all of a sudden, lamang na naman ng San Beda, pero yung big shot, Di Soliano, sa short corner, that was that really proved to be the dagger for uh, for San Beda. Muli, nagtagumpay ang Letran kontra sa San Beda, 85-82, to 82, so overtime dito sa Game 3 ng NCAA Season 91 Finals. We will be back for the official coronation of the new champions. Stay with us dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. At kami po yung nagpapalik dito sa loob ng Mall of Asia Arena. What a season, what a series. San Beda versus Letran, and Letran beating San Beda in three games, best of three series. And now, we will proceed with the awarding ceremonies. And we have at center court to acknowledge our management committee. We have from Arellano University, Mr. Peter Kaiko. Back naman po sa Coleo, the San Juan de Letran, we have Father Vic Calvo Jr. Mula naman po sa Emilio Aguinaldo College, we have Mr. Marlon Mario Carlos. Mula naman po sa host school this season from the Mapua Institute of Technology, we have Mr. Melchor Devina. And the chairman of the policy board also from this year's host school from Mapua Institute of Technology, we have Dr. Reynaldo B. Vea. and a member of the management committee from San Beda College, Mr. Jose Mari Lacson. Wala naman po sa Lyceum of the Philippines University, Mr. Hercules Calianta. And from San Sebastian College, Recoletos, we have attorney Reynold Munsaya. Also with us is the head of ABS-CBN Integrated Sports, Mr. Dino Laurena, and the channel head of ABS-CBN Sports in Action, Sir Vince Rodriguez. At sa puntong ito, Maaaring tawagin natin ang lahat ng uh, players ng Letra Knights to individually get their individual trophies from our members of the management committee. Once again, may we ask all the players of the Letra Knights to get their individual trophies at center court. Once again, congratulations to the NCAA Season 91 champions, your Colegio de San Juan. The Letra Knights. Parang tumatahimik tayo, Mall of Asia Arena, mga Letranista. This year's champions after 10 years, your NCAA Season 91 champions, 
your colegio de San Juan, the Lantern Knights! And of course, presenting the individual trophy, Dr. Reynaldo Vea, the chairman of the policy board. Once again, your NCAA season 91 champions, the Latran Knights. And obviously, this season's coach of the year, first year head coach, a native of Sorsogon. Coach Alden Ayo! And presenting the Coach of the Year Award is Head of abs Event Integrated Sports, Sir Dino Lorena, and Channel Head of abs Event Sports and Action, Sir Vince Rodriguez. And this year's finals MVP, averaging 17.33 points per game, 6.3 rebounds per game, 4.3 assists per game, and three steals per game in this series, your NCAA Season 91 finals MVP is, from the Letra Knights, your astonishing Ant-Man, Mark Cruz. And presenting the Finals MVP award is Father Vic Calvo. Congratulations once again to head coach Adenayo this season's Coach of the Year na pinagtawanan nga daw na kanya mga manlalaro nung sinabi niya na magcha-champion ang Letra Knights this season and here they are and right now makakasama ko your finals MVP the Ant-Man Mark Cruz Mark alam ko kanina nakausap ka na na aming uh, kasama pero you've had one heck of a season I uh, career in Letran, anong tumatakbo sa isip mo ngayon? Achieving this feat, your finals MVP on your last year, you get the championship for Letran. Honestly, hindi ko talaga alam. Hindi ko alam na yung feel ko ngayon, pero I'm so blessed, I'm so thankful. Nang nangyayari to, hindi ko alam talaga, I promise. Ang sarap sa feeling, ang sarap sa feeling. Siyempre, naging kakampi mo, nasabi mo, inaalay mo din to kina Coach Louie, Yung mga naging kakampi mo dati, si Kevin, oh, anong mga gusto mong sabihin sa yung mga naging kakampi dati? At <laughs> ngayon na siyempre, ano din ang uh, gusto mong sabihin sa yung mga kakampi na next year hindi mo na makakasama dito sa NCAA? Um, kala Kevin, yung mga former teammates ko, thank you sa support ha, dahil hindi pa rin kayo nagsawa sumuport ha. Then, sa mga teammates ko ngayon, ipagpatuloy nyo lang yan! Go! And lastly, Mark, yung mensahe mo sa lahat ng walang tigil na sumo, sumuporta sa'yo ng mga letranista. At uh, alam ko, isa ka dun sa tinawanan si Coach Alden nung sinabing magsas... Teka lang, ba't mo tinawanan si Coach Alden nun? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Ngayon, naniniwala ka na. Naniniwala na ako. Anong mensahe mo sa lahat ng mga letranista na siyempre susuportahan ka hanggang sa pros at talagang di ka tinigilan? Anong gusto mo sabihan? Oh guys, sobrang thank you sa inyo lahat. Alam ko, may exam tayo!
Ma'am, salamat Mark. Congratulations ulit sa'yo. This year's finals MVP, the Ant-Man, Mark Cruz. Congratulations once again, Mark. And congratulations to the NCA Season 91 champions, the Colegio, the San Juan, the Letran Knights. Sa ngayon, balikan naman natin si na Anton at si Coach Alan. Maraming salamat, Andre. Isang makasasayang araw ang ating napanood ngayong araw dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA Game 3 sa pagitan ng dalawang arch rivals, San Beda at Letran at nagtagumpay sa isang makapigil hiningang overtime game ang mga Letranista 85-82. to 82. Well, you know, Ton, not to take away anything from San Beda, they also deserve to win the championship but you know, the better team really deserves to win the championship and for today's ball game, that is the Letran Knights. Marami ang nagduda sa kakayahan ng Letran Knights na makarating sa Final Four at makamit ang kampiyonato but they defied the impossible and have reclaimed the championship that they last won in 2005. Sila ang bagong hari ng NCAA. We have covered great ball games. We have covered classic ball games. And definitely, Anton, this will boil down to be one of the most classic ball games I've ever done in my entire life. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Coach Alan, na mayani ang puso, napakalaking puso ng mga letranista ngayong araw. Again, winning the championship, their 17th overall NCAA championship. Saludo tayo sa lahat ng nag-Final Four. Saludo tayo sa kuponan ng San Beda. Pero mas saludo tayo sa kuponan ng Letran. Once again, congratulations to the Colegio de San Juan de Letran Knights, ang bagong champions ng Season 91 ng NCAA. Para kay Coach AG, Alan Gregorio, Drek Alneri, Sir Vic Caridad, at lahat ng mga bumubo ng ABS-CBN Sports, ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Ross, nagsasabing maraming salamat sa pagtutok sa Season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang galing! Woo! Sa Ball of Asia Arena sa Luxor ng Basay.